Hi everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs. Today I'm going to be creating this Dollar Tree jewelry organizers. First up will be this earring holder. This organizer is great because it has a stand already attached to it, so you can move it wherever you want. The other great thing about this is that it's small enough for small spaces with small counters. For this DIY, I'm going to be using some gold spray paint and this is the Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Metallic. A picture frame with a stand and this is from Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using this mesh wire and this comes from the Dollar Tree mesh wire baskets. And I'll also be using these foil rub-on stickers. So I started by flipping my picture frame to the back side because that's where I'm mainly going to work at. Next I place the mesh behind as you can see and what I'm going to do here is just cut just what I need to cover the back side of the picture frame only. And so all I did is use my ruler as my guide and then I went in with a white marker to mark off where I needed to cut. And I went ahead and I did that to all four edges. And then with just a regular pair of scissors, I went ahead and I cut the wire. And as you can see, now that I've cut it, this is how it's going to look once I place it in the back side. But before I do that, I'm going to take this outside and go spray paint it with the gold spray paint. Since I'm not going to be needing the plastic this frame came with, what I'm going to do is just remove it and I'm kind of just going to wiggle it with my fingers until it comes loose and it comes out. And now I'm ready to attach the mesh and all I'm going to do is just place it on the back side and add some hot glue all the way around. And I used a rubber spatula so I wouldn't burn myself. And this is how the front side looks and this is the back side. And then with the foil stickers I went ahead and I cut the roses out and I placed it there on the side of the frame and all I did was just rub it with my fingers and then just peel off the paper. And when I tried doing the same thing to the opposite side, it didn't transfer that well, so I went ahead and I just rubbed it off. For the next DIY, I'll be creating this ring holder. This really comes in really handy because it has an area where you can slip on your favorite rings but also the dish at the bottom can hold the extra rings that you may use on a daily basis. I really love how this Dollar Tree marble plate and this gold trinket go together. For this DIY I'll be using this marble print plate from Dollar Tree and this one is the smaller size. And this gold trinket from Dollar Tree, I really like the stem that it has up at the top because it can hold your rings. This is what I immediately thought of when I saw it. This DIY is super easy. All I'm going to do is super glue and hot glue the trinket to the center of the plate. I'm going to start by adding some E6000 to the bottom of the trinket. You can also use some super glue. And then I'm going to go in with some hot glue. And then place it in the center of the plate. And then give the glue about two hours to dry before you start to use it. For 
For my last DIY, I'll be creating this bracelet holder. What I love about this bracelet holder is that I made a long bar, a little bit longer than normal so that it could hold plenty of bracelets. And I'm telling you right now, you are gonna be surprised as to what I used for the bar. And for this, I also used that marble printed plate as I did for the ring holder. So I wanted this to look like a set. So let's go ahead and get started with this final DIY. I'll be using some more of this gold metallic spray paint, another marble printed plate from Dollar Tree, the round silver napkin holders from Dollar Tree, and from the mesh rolls, I'm gonna be using the two cardboards. Now these are pretty sturdy and that's why I'm gonna use these. And they usually come in these rolls right here from Dollar Tree. And also this soft and fuzzy cloth from Dollar Tree and this is always in the automotive section. And for an alternative, you can use some thick yarn if you don't have that cloth. Some gold diamond wrap and this does have the sticky adhesive on the back. Okay, so I'm gonna start by creating a stand and I'm gonna be using the napkin holders. I'm gonna be using four of them. And what I'm gonna do is stack them up in the center of the plate just like this. But before that I do that, I'm gonna hot glue all four ring holders together. Some of the hot glue did seep out, so I did have to rub it off with my fingers. Okay, so now that I've created my stand, I'm gonna go spray paint it with the gold spray paint. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by hot gluing the two round cardboards together, and then for added reinforcement, I'm gonna add some masking tape around them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is cover the wand with the fabric. And so what I'm gonna do is just add some hot glue and then roll the fabric over the wand. And then once I would make like a half turn, I would add some more hot glue along the side of the wand. I went around about three times. This gave it just the right amount of thickness. And then I was ready now to cut along the side. And then to cover the opening on the end, all I did is use my finger to push in the cloth. Next, I cut three strips of the diamond wrap. Next, I took these strips of diamond wrap to cover the seams where the ring holders attached. Okay, so now I'm ready to attach it to the plate and I'm gonna be using some E6000 and also some hot glue and then I'm gonna place it in the center of the plate. And here I'm just showing you the seam of the fabric and that's gonna be facing down and I'm gonna place it over the stand this way. But first I'm gonna add some hot glue. And then for added reinforcement, I'm gonna add another strip of diamond wrap and I'm gonna start by putting some hot glue in the center of the bar and then I'll be putting the diamond wrap over it and it is gonna run over to the side of the stand. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.